Good evening, YouTube. What the crap's going on? I do apologize if I end up sounding a little more grizzled tonight than usual. I'm battling Princess either some kind of allergy <laughs> or, I don't know, sickness, something like that. But in any case, I'm excited to be back with you on the Order of Lore Masters campaign. Maybe We're gonna continue. Let's go pick up this treasure here with my second army. That's a pretty sweet armor, actually. Pretty sweet indeed. Let's see what we got here on some of our characters. I've already got this uh, War Crown of Safri armor, so we don't want to change any of that. And then uh, our noble here has the Helm of Fortune. But uh, let's see about our other... Indiana Josie is not doing any fighting right now, so she'll be alright. And uh, let's see, is Vanya... Yeah, okay, so this army is led by Vanya. She needs a name, you know, after what she just pulled off, so... Let's call her... Oh, let's think. So she defended against Chaos and Norska. Vanya. Chaos Vanquisher. Will it fit? Yeah, assuming I spelled it right. <laughs> That'll work. She's got this Helm of Fortune. Let's swap it out for that Armor of Destiny. It should uh, do her well. She's earned it, I think, at this point for having defended the Empire. Ward saves. Battle banner. Sure, why not? Go ahead and throw on some of these things. Um, I'm not sure if I will keep her army together or not. We're not earning a ton of money at the moment, but we pretty quickly can change it. So we've defended ourselves. We should be in a good opportunity to expand here. The settlement is out of supplies. Cadaf unleashed. Yet we need to wait a bit longer. We've sieged this long, we can wait a little longer and just wait these guys out. I hate sieging this long, but sometimes it's just the right thing to do. Sometimes it's not, though, because you get into it and you give your enemies more time than they deserve uh, to prepare to act against you. So, definitely something to be aware of. What do we need here? An archive? We need to get an archive built. Should have an opportunity to do so right there. Oh, well, we're about to have it here. Never mind. So we can build whatever else we need to elsewhere. Let's see. Which of these two do I want more? Minus one. Uh, we'll just go down this line. Court advisors. It's in the turn. And I love this campaign. Uh, oh crap, I had more money to spend than I should have. My bad. I really like this campaign. Mushroom stew. Veteran campaign, I guess. There we go. Favorable wins. So Indiana Josie continues to pay dividends. Once she's gathered enough treasure and we no longer need her to do so, then um, we'll disband her and, and re rehire her back somewhere where we can get her an army put together and then she'll have to go on another adventure right I'm thinking since she enjoyed the adventure at sea so much collecting treasure maybe we need to get her a cool army and we can send her on an adventure to the Southlands or something to destroy uh, whatever factions there we need to destroy whoever's over there that needs to die apparently the only two people left in the race though are Hexodal and Nagarond but nevertheless we could send her to the Southlands just for fun Opposing ritual started. Why would I raise or sack a settlement belonging to Norska? That would be quite an odd thing to do at the moment. Navigating. Drunk of maps, amulet of fires. <laughs> We've been picking up all kinds of like Asset nonsensical princess. magical items. What else is around here? There's treasure way over there, but there's no need to get that close to our enemies. Don't see any skull reefs around here, but I will begin again soon. we'll just start kind of sailing over this way. Um, let's swing back over to our territory and build some of these buildings that I should have done last time. Grand Repository. Ooh, Phoenix Guard. That would be wonderful. 
Sentinels of Zeddy we can now build. Let's um let's just think for a minute about the buildings that I've built and the ones that I haven't built. So we have this line here up to the Tower of Mages. We'll have the Sanctuary of Assyrian. Um, and the Dragon Keep we'll have. We don't have defenses here, which is somewhat unfortunate. But considering that there's a port and exotic animals to be had here, we'll have to live without the defenses. Not that I'm real pleased about it. So there's not a whole lot else that I can do here that I'm concerned about. We don't have a grove constructed. And we don't have this uh, Ethelmar Smith so we want to make sure these two things have been built at the Sentinels of Zeddy. Order must be maintained. We have the smith. And now we can build the grove. So that would provide me then, I believe, all the different units that we could possibly recruit. Yes, it would appear that way. So this is good news. And let's just keep spending some of this the bid you money. We're going to be able to spend pretty much all of it because these are some expensive buildings that we're kicking through here. So we'll need to continue to collect treasure. Ooh, yeah, that's expensive. This one gives us extra income from ports and tariffs ports in this province, which will make no difference, but tariffs would. Uh, a little bit more tariff in the end. Um, income from entertainment buildings. This one just gives me a little bit of income, but surely it's fairly insignificant. Um, let's take a look at the... Trade, 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 trade. Where's my faction at? Faction. Uh, War Master. Summary. Statistics. Where's my treasury? Is it different now? I'm trying to remember, see how my trade goods. Am I struggling to find the trade goods here? Faction leader, tech list, trade partners. Statistics won't be in there, won't be under records. And summary. Oh, there used to be something where I could see the treasury. Surely they haven't removed it. I'm probably just missing it. Not gonna be up under here. Wasn't under diplomacy, wasn't under tech. Assign skill points. Uh, maybe you click this? Yeah, there we go. Alright. So... Right now I'm not producing a ton of different trade goods. But I have a total income from trade of 24.78. If I were to assume 10% of that would be 240. Then a 5% bump to tariffs would be about half of that at 120. So actually kind of does make more sense, I think. At least in the short the run for me to restive. build the uh, elven craftsman because I get a few trinkets more to trade and the hundred income. We'll try it. In the long run it would probably make more sense to have the 5% buff to tariffs when I get more trade goods out there. Okay. Alright. Feel more steed. So this is my noble. Give him uh, hard to hit. And how torn Destroy up are them. these losers? Quite, me. but not good enough yet. Alright, let's end the turn. Uh, we're gonna loot this place. We've had to siege it for a long time. The spices there will actually be quite handy. That'll add to our trade pretty significantly. There's a gold mine fairly nearby, and there's some other trade goods that we can reestablish if we go take the settlements back that we had originally owned. And these lizard men, I'm sure, are not to be trusted. They own far too much territory for my liking. Yeah. It says some of this stuff is unknown. I believe 
Vipers. Okay. Attack. I think these uh, putzes are significantly weak. Withdraw. So we'll go ahead and auto resolve. Another victory. Indeed, it was a victory, was it not? Decisive victory. A lot of good your holdout did you, Blood we'll Hall Coven. We'll get some nice loot off home. these guys. Behold. So, the Blood Hall Coven is ours, is and it's a level 4 settlement. Can tear down the unnecessaries here. I think a Shrine of Assyrian would make sense, and just other buildings to, in general, yeah, the spices, let's get that started. Defenses. Kind of get the uh, basics going there. Let's go pick up this treasure. Yes! 5,000 gold, that's spectacular. Yeah, we've already cleaned out all the treasure through there. I don't suppose it would hurt to go pick up this one. It's a couple turns journey, and we're costing ourselves quite a bit of upkeep with some of these units that we don't really need here, so let's just disband these. Can I offer assistance? And if we need to retrain some troops in this army, we will. We can upgrade here at the Turtle Isles to be able to get Dragon Princes and Star Dragons, which would be pretty sweet. Let's do it. We've temporarily got some money on our hands, so let's do it. Then the question becomes, uh, is it time for us to make this army stronger? And I think the answer is yes. But uh, it'll do for now, so let's get just a little bit further with it, and then we'll start getting a little bit higher tier army here. Teclis is at level 28. We definitely want um, Flames of the Phoenix. And there's probably some good stuff over here, too. But to get to Flames of the Phoenix, um, we have to have... Let's see, I've got one, two, three... Four. We have to have probably five points here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is it going to be a bad thing to have regrowth? I don't think so. So, we definitely want to replace that fireball with Flames of the Phoenix. It can be a much more useful ability. There we go. In the turn. Man, this campaign is great. Um, I do have the Mortal Empires where I've gotten to get hands-on with it. I don't know if I'm allowed to just release gameplay off of it yet. Creative Assembly told me that I was able to give you my thoughts and impressions, which Nothing I did. You can say will but I've not seen head. anything yet that says that I can stream gameplay. Um, so we'll just hang on to it. I mean, it's not like it's going anywhere. <laughs> I'll have an unreleased day if I can't show it to you sooner. And um, I'll be absolutely happy to play it with you then. There is a vote if you go to my thoughts and impressions video from uh, earlier today, probably yesterday by the time you're watching this. Uh, you can go vote on factions as a straw poll link. I'll try and actually put it in the chat of this video if you want to go vote. Right now, the Empire is winning. If that irritates you, then... Embers of the Phoenix. That's cool. Book of the Phoenix. Chance of regaining. So that's an enchanted item, huh? Interesting. Others sing their praises. Let's put that on our noble and see how that works out. Okay. Let's get defenses built. Already got that. Uh, we're going to need some public order boost here, too. And let's... Yeah, look at what that did when we picked up those spices, folks. Huge difference. Huge difference. What's the uh, public order? Let's wait one more turn here just to calm the public order a... Well... We're building defenses, and it should give us pretty significant defenses. We're good. Let's just pop out of here. Yeah, we'll be good. Head after that treasure. 
Alright, Josie. Ready for Let's get some more treasure. Alright. Back to the Forbidden Jungles. We're about to have a rebellion somewhere. Yeah. The Asa are forbidden Jungle. Yeah, at the Forbidden Jungle. <laughs> we should be able to easily put it down, though. I do like the little warning system they've given down here. Some people may find it annoying, but it's kind of nice, actually. It's more thorough than the one on Warhammer 1. But I find that once you kind of get used to it down there, it's not actually that annoying, because you can skip through it pretty quickly. But it's a good reminder for folks like me who are prone to forgetting things. Definitely like the uh, improvements to the UI. It's interesting, I've had some people... Um, look at that, the Dark Elves are already sending a force down to the Blood Hall. Oh, we'll have to look at their movement and see whether or not they can patience. actually get there. Deliver your message. This rogue army. The Snuff stat Snatchers. I didn't know these guys were into snuff. It's bad for your health. You know what else is bad for your health? There's a lot of high elf arrows. Just saying. Probably wouldn't be good. Yeah, so there's been a rebellion here, but... Um, into anarchy. Yeah, I can't say I'm terribly worried about it with this many archers, sea guard, and white lions. Yeah. Even though this is a pretty tough-looking rebellion, I'm pretty sure we can hold it at bay. No. These guys can reach my island. And they can do so with two turns left on the garrison. So... I think it kind of makes sense for me to actually just go back and hit the garrison here. And uh, make the AI think twice here. Of course, it might have been better to just lure them in and then destroy them. Because the AI likes to run off when they feel threatened. And that's probably what they'll do. This mage is leveled up. Let's see what we can give her here. Arcane Conduit makes a lot of sense. Alright, Josie. Picked up 2,500 gold. Josie never fails Navigating. to deliver. She is one useful princess. All right. There we go. I notice there's a frame rate drop when you kick back to this part of the island. There must be something that you go over over here that causes a big frame rate drop. Kind of odd. It's one of the few things I've noticed. Game performance, it's a little bit weird. Otherwise, the game runs very stable, very nice. It's definitely more demanding. Warhammer 1, more so than I thought it would be, but I think it's because they've made so many graphical improvements. This game actually looks much better. Textures, lighting, shadows, it's very improved over the first one, and it was very noticeable from the, the first time I even started testing it before release, but unfortunately, you know, that came at the cost of performance, which can be at a premium. It's already quite expensive to get a computer to run Total War. And uh, having one that can run it all oh, out you. is quite expensive. Excellent. Non-aggression pact. Let's see. I don't know if I need a non-aggression pact with you, but I'll do so since we're trading. And I'd like to keep that trade open since it would be a source of massive income. I shall consider them. Yeah, I could care less what you all say, rogue army filth. My loyalty is These guys may be trying to sail around me to Golden Ziggurat. Which would be a pretty smart move, because my home province is relatively under-defended. To properly defend it, I would have to give up... You know, though, we could, um, we could properly defend it if we gave up just a bit of income. Because we're already going to have a decent garrison. It won't be great at the Great Turtle Isles. And I say it won't be great, but the question is, do we have to have all these buildings at the Great Turtle Isle? I don't think we do. I mean, we could put this one over here at the Sentinels of Zeti. Because 
Because we're going to need defenses here at some point. Let's tear that down, tear this down, tear this down, and we'll rebuild this to where we can have defenses in the minor provinces. And then we'll want to rebuild this grand repository over here at the Sentinels of Zeti. The rise against you. We can build it right here. If we right-size all that, I think that will be the right move. And that means we can tear this down and put in defenses there as well. There is no limit to my power. How far can these guys sail? They can get pretty close to the Golden Ziggurat. They might even be able to attack it on the next turn, which would be problematic. Let's just move back this way to dissuade them. There we go. Now they may attack the Blood Hall, Coven. But that's okay. I don't think they can get to it before my defenses will be complete. And I'm tired of playing games with them anyway. The Asha Ooh, look at that Sea Guard garrison. Yeah, the lizard men will be quite sorry. They will take a hail of arrows like they have never before experienced. Sweet! Picked up another 5,000 gold. We need some dragons, folks. That's what the High Elves are famous for, and we need some dragons. We need to see our enemies burned beneath the fiery breath of our dragons. Ah, now we should have ghost guys right we want them. We can hit them with an auto-resolve naval battle, get rid of them. And that should be that, I believe. And that will leave us free to go pay our attention to getting our resources back in the mountains. Oh, I forgot it takes all of my movement points to uh, to put to sea. Well, let's see if we can chase these guys down, regardless. They're not going to be capable of easily overrunning the Blood Hall at this point. Get our spices pumped all the way up. This can now be defenses. We need defenses here, and then this will need to be our barracks and then defenses and then the archive and then grand repository over here perfect so now we'll have all the buildings split between the provinces and we'll have defenses which are going to be critical so that should put us in a better position long term you're calling me pathetic you're the one that got wrecked in the siege here might want to choose your words wisely, Dark Elf. I serve the Phoenix King. They want to remember. Landing. The Phoenix King has you in his sights. And he does not look kindly upon your filth. No subject. There's a decent little round of treasures through here, so let's swing up through here. Ooh. It's a storm? What the heck? It says there's a storm, but I don't see a storm. I guess there's a storm over here that I just can't see, but whatever. It's a black arc right over there that I don't really want to be near. Ah, sweet. We got minus 50% casualties to attrition. <laughs> That'll mean that that storm matters very little. Ooh, that... That high elf music, folks. Alright. It's in the turn. Your small schemes are of no interest to me. <laughs> couldn't have said it better myself, Teclas. Your small schemes are of no interest to me, and I couldn't dream of paying you money for peace. When I can come and take peace by force, 
I'd like to see you stop me. Are you going to siege the Sentinels yet? You lizard filth. Let's go already. Look at us having to chase these guys down to the AI doing their thing like, hey, I'm just going to sail for a target of opportunity. I'm not actually going to do something useful. There we go. Let's see what we're up against with the Sentinels. For the Ever Queen. Our defenses will hold. All right, so four Temple Guard. That Stegodon and the Bastilodon are a bit of a concern. But I do have a lot of arrows. A lot. I think we can win. We don't have armor-piercing missiles, which is unfortunate. But we have good cavalry. We have a lot of arrows. And we have a couple of decent infantry. Decent. Not up to snuff with Temple Guard, but Temple Guard being rained on by 10 Lothern Sea Guard should be significantly weakened. And we even have a hill position. White Lion! Okay, White Lions with the Noble, you line up right in the center. We'll start off with the Silver Helms up here. Concentrate. Fire a little better, so let's put him in double line. Yes, they do lack firepower. Okay, let's try this. Let's kind of move forward right here at the top of this hill. It says I will lose if time runs out. AI is going to have to attack me. I've got the missile supremacy. I shall. Move up just a smidge so we can hit these guys right out of the forest all the way up the hill. Silver Helms, Cold One Spear Riders. Our Silver Helms should be able to defeat that cavalry. Fire. Group two, bring down the Croxagores. Group one, start tearing down the Temple Guard. Let's go engage the Spear Riders. Okay, group one, fall back. Two, fall back. Group three, push forward and attack. Spear riders are engaged. Group one, massacre temple guard. Group two, start massacring skirmishers. Turn and attack here. Stegadon. All fire focus on the Stegadon. Still it on one of the two. Just pour it on, pour it on thick. Let's fall back just a bit further. The AI pulled out of a fight over here. It's annoying when they do that, but they do it frequently. That's gonna hurt. But the Bastilodon is being pooped on. Unfortunately, what little bit of infantry we have has fallen apart. Kill these spear riders. Should have killed them earlier. Alright, group one, fall back to the second position. We're gonna let our Lothern Sea Guard hold the front line momentarily. How are these spear riders not dead? I'm getting really tired of that. Okay, we drove off one of the dinosaurs. Let's drive down the Feral Stegodon.
We're losing our noble. But if we break the dinosaurs, I don't believe the rest of their army will be able to stand against us very well. What happened to my other silver helm? Oh my gosh, the spear rider's still alive. Talk about annoying. Bring down that dinosaur already. Get out of here. Get away from that skink. And you are supposed to be back here. Actually, turn around and charge the skink. We'll collapse on it. Okay, Feral Stegodon's about to drop. We're going to drop the Bastilodon. Once we drop the dinosaurs, we'll take this line into combat if it runs out of ammo and pull the other one back out. The skinks got crushed in between two lines of cavalry. And the feral Bastilodon is about to drop. And I don't believe that the AI possesses enough infantry to turn this. Actually, don't chase those freaking chameleons because they're just going to run away from you and injure you a lot. Let's just kill them with our archers real quick. While the uh, temple guards are bogged down. Yeah, see, they're just coming over here trying to kill my cavalry, so we're going to use... We're going to clean them up first. Keep my cavalry very much alive. You're very persistent, you annoying AI jerks. But it won't work. Run these guys down. I don't want them coming back. We're going to wipe out this last unit of Chameleon Skinks. And then we're going to trade this uh, imp uh, archers who are out of ammo into combat. And we'll remove the archers who have ammo. Wipe them out. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Okay, you all now come out of combat. Let these guys take over. Again, come trade out. Okay, come trade in. Alright, so now I've got two archers out of combat who have a lot of ammo. And we can now start performing rear charges. Get over here to the flanks. Let's keep fixing their infantry. Got some white lions back, and some other units that I should have reactivated. Nice rear charge, go ahead and pull away from the temple guards. And now, for the finishing. Let's get some uh, close-up views of my sea guard massacring the... Uh, Temple guards from behind. The sea guard are quite tanky in melee. They can hold out very nicely with their high melee defense. And we are going to make use of that. Okay. Time to finish the fight. We're going to finish this like Empire Total War, like bayonets drawn style, surrounding the enemy in melee. It's not good enough to shoot them down. We're going to tear them down with our bare hands. Crush them. Teach them to rebel against their high elf masters. Ooh, gotta like that lightning in the background. Look at that. Temple guard. Where's the resolve, temple guard? Where is your resolve? I thought you were the elite. The last defenders. This, this temple guard over here, man, they're making a name for themselves. I'll give them that. I'll give them that. They made a name for themselves. All right. So we have successfully defended against the Sentinels of Zeti rebels. And in the end, they were indeed rebel scum.
like most rebels. Self one triumphant. Fantastic. Master of the White Tower. Oh, hey, do I have to chase these idiots or are we gonna get they can reach my island in one turn. I can go ahead and garrison these guys here so that if they do reach there before my defenses are completed, then I have a noble, a lord, a mage, and a few other units with which to fight them. Because they're mostly just hero units. Ooh, I actually think the lizards are sailing up there, meaning to take my territory. I'm going to leave that to uh, my defenses. I'm sick of chasing these people. Let's get over here and start taking some of my lands back. If we're going to head over here. Josie, let's see if she has a target. Time is of the essence. She, she does now. We have like so many trunks of maps, we're not going to know what to do with them. Trickster Shard. I guess I could try picking the other one. See whether or not it's worth it to us in the end. Setting sail. Oh, actually, there. that one's closer. Yeah, see, right there. There's that frame drop when you come back over here to the Turtle Isles. Interesting. Okay. bid you welcome. Yes, you bid you welcome. You better bid me welcome. I'm one of you. And you're like my favorite faction now, so... So noble. Such cool armor. I can dig. I can I can dig it. I like all the uh, archers, too. It's pretty sweet. Though I have to admit, there's things about the wood elf archers that I like better. I mean, granted, the Asir archers have, like, better armor and shields and some of that spear capability and stuff, but... Man, you gotta love the fact that Glade Guard can fire while moving, and you also have to love that, uh, oh, what do they call them, Way Watchers can run and shoot in any direction, and fight. yeah, that's just freaking awesome. High Elves ain't got nothing on that in terms of archers, but they do, the Sea Guard are a pretty close second for me because of their ability, like what you just saw in that battle, just absolutely holding their ground against even some of the toughest of foes. Listen, filth lizards. Our defenses will hold. It's hard to get the heck off my settlement that you not understand the first time. High Law Master of Hoeth. High Law Master of Hoeth. Okay. You called? Oh uh, yeah, well the Mud Isles will be quite well defended now. So these Dark Elves are too late. There's nowhere left for them to attack that they will actually survive. You must restore order, the outcast children of Fantastic. The word. Azir guides us. 5,000 gold. Alright. Continue to rake in the gold. We don't even have anything to spend it on at the moment, yes. other than just making this army even cooler than it already is, which we'll do as soon as we take the next settlement. By the gods. You know what we could do though? We have these characters so leveled up. I wonder if we should pass them to the other Protect army. And then just recruit locally because it'll save us money. I think that makes more sense actually. Let's roll down here, and uh, we'll pass those units off to the other army to make use of them. We've earned all those chevrons, we might as well keep them going. Yeah, nice try. Have a nice swim, losers. Master of the White Tower. Moving on. 
All right, master Ridiculous. of the White Tower. These guys are looking pretty weak here. Really? It says I can't take them down? How weak are you? I'm pretty sure it can be done. Strong versus multiple combatants. Getting against flyers. Well, it says we can't win. I'd like to find out. If we lose, then I suppose that that's the price that... Vanya the Chaos Vanquisher will have to pay for my stupidity, but I'm pretty sure we got this. Let's remind myself of the spells at hand. heal ourselves at five. Okay. Got a plan. Let's see if it works. How much is this Tempest? Eight. Ten, four. We can use the Tempest on the Harpies and that will quickly put the Ruin to them. Yeah, what was with that auto resolve? And then I come in here and it's like, yeah, by the way, we lied. You're gonna win. Yeah, duh. Hey, nice shot, genius. Can you aim a Tempest better than you can? Thank you. Well, that'll take care of that, but like seriously though. Well, I'd say the Harpies are gone. Get that death hag. What are you doing skirmishing? Kill him. Shoot him. Ah, we got our spell canceled. Go ahead and take these guys out. Ah, oh, crud. There we go. Oh, I thought our guy went crazy. Apparently not. Kill those freaking riders. I can't cast. Really? It got my cast off though, so he'll heal. That was kind of a jack job. Come on back, mage. I'm not done with you yet. It's up to you, princess, because your mage fled. Cowardly terror. There we go. We can rely on the vanquisher. She knows no fear. You ever gonna shoot that magic missile? No. <laughs> well, lucky for us, Vanya the Vanquisher was more than enough. Because her quite cowardly hearted mage friend did not stand her ground. Might as well take an extra 360. The the All right. We're going to move we over march. here. And Ready we'll swap the units. Skill is well, known. we'll need Militia Master to help out with the troops that we're swapping, uh, swapping over. Man, that Tempest absolutely wrecked. We need Arcane Unforging. That could have been very handy. So we have it now. Those losers that got killed. Do or do I not have an archive? Shrine of Assyrian. 
No, no, I don't, because I rebuilt it elsewhere. <laughs> yeah. You folks gotta give me a minute to keep up. Elven Embassy. I thought we had an Elven Embassy as well. Elven Court, Elven Gardens. Elf Freak, which one's the Embassy? Amphitheater. Ah, this one, that level three. Well, we should get rid of this building here and uh, build the embassy. I don't need it to recruit nobles at the moment. We can rebuild it once we've leveled up the Sentinels of Zeti. So that should do. Start working on spy networks. I'm feeling some sword masters coming on, folks. I kind of want a lore master as well. If we're gonna have sword masters, we kind of need a lore master. treasure real quick. Let's see what happens if they pick the battle one. I wonder if it's just for this army? Enhancing your army's combat skills. Supply lines. What's that called? The Enscorled Blades. Yeah. I think it must just be for this army. Um, so yeah, we'll just... It doesn't really matter which one I pick. Neither one's gonna be a huge help to me. Okay. Let's get our elven embassy. And then... Great Turtle Isles. We can build up the defenses. Finish up this chain. Master of the White Tower. Swap troops. They can have all these low tier troops. I kind of still want my Eagle Claws, but we'll swap everything else. There we go. Alright, now we just got to think about what all we want to put in this army. Oh, and there's plenty of things to do. That upkeep. But I mean, if we're gonna have a dragon, it should be a star dragon, right? It should definitely be a star dragon. We need also dragon princes. I mean, we gotta do the army right. If we're gonna do an elite army, we gotta do the we gotta do the elite army. We need two star dragons, a couple dragon princes. Why can I not get Sword Masters of Hoeth? I probably don't have the right building here. Alright, so Sword Masters come from the Grand Repository, which I'm building in the other. Building segments. You must yeah, so we'll have to recruit them from over here. You require assistance? It's okay, though. We'll want a uh, couple of units of Phoenix Guard as well. Oh, the upkeep, folks. We're going to be able to feel that. We're going to get the Phoenix Guards. A few Lothar and Sea Guards. So let's think here. And then that leaves me room for five Sword Masters. Will that balance be good? We'll have nice ranged flyers, a couple of cavalry support. I think that would be a good balance. I may get one lore master and four sword masters. But maybe not. We'll see. We shall see. That's good for now. Orders. And 
And since we are going to be losing money like crazy, and oh yes, we will be losing money like crazy. Let's get these folks marching on the way to go retake some of the settlements that we need. So we'll need to make up for the horrendous upkeep hit we're about to take because of my lust for fine units. So we'll want to go get some trade resources to help offset it. Let us share a glass of wine while we discuss your message. A military alliance, huh? Mm, this seems like a good plan. They're stronger than me. Though I have a feeling our strength rating is about to go up quite a lot higher. Alright, well I know there hasn't been a ton of fighting, but I think that's pretty much the time that we're going to have. Here, this will give us access to our Sword Masters. And a Lore Master, I believe. And I will see you all in the next episode, where we're going to take on our Elite Army. And continue our march against our foes. We're being beat to the uh, Rituals at the moment, but... Um, you know what? That's not a big deal. I think these guys actually got beat out of the Ritual because they backed up here. So, although we are slightly behind in the uh, Ritual resources, our enemies are about to have quite the little army to contend with. So I hope you all are going to enjoy it. I'll see you on the next episode. Air of Carthage, signing out.